Welcome back to Triple R. Today I want to talk about and review a game, Urban Champion, which was released for the NES in 1986. The game got very poor reviews even back in 1986. I remember being a very lackluster and limited game, but being a fighting game fan, I still found some satisfaction in playing this game. Granted, it's not something you would play for any long period of time, but the punching mechanics were straightforward and it felt good when you did land multiple hits on your almost identical opponent. That is another low point of the game. It only featured two characters who looked the same, except for a few color swaps. I think a few costume characters could have gave the game some more legs. Instead, we got what does feel like a rush to market product, where NES just wanted a 1v1 kind of fighting game probably on the system. At least it was a finished game and a complete game, which is more than I can say for some cheaper games that I found on the Steam store. Urban Champion offers two modes of play, single player and two player mode. In two-player mode, the winners determine for the first person to win three rounds. So kind of like a standard fighting game. So the gameplay of Urban Champion. At the start of the game, you'll get 200 stamina points, and the time will be set to 99. You press up on the controller and the button to throw a high punch, down on the controller and the button to throw a low punch. Uh, the buttons do a, one does a light, one does a heavy, the light does a stun, and the heavy causes the opponent knockback. So that's what you want to land the knockback. So when you land a punch to the unguarded area, you'll push them back. Eventually you succeed landing the punches, send them to another screen, and continue the fight. I believe it's the third screen where a manhole appears, and the goal is to knock your adversary into the manhole to win the match. The game does have some other things going on during the street fight. Sometimes flower pots will be thrown from windows straight down, and if you're hit by one, you will lose some stamina and be stunned where your opponent can easily knock you down and vice versa. And since you're fighting out in the public, <laughs> a patrol car will sometimes come by to check on things. Your characters will stop fighting, go to the edges of the screen until they pass. Now, if your two are so evenly matched and the time runs out, the police will arrive again and take away the person who is losing the round who is ever closest to their edge of the screen. And then they will lose the round. Upon victory, when you do beat your opponent, you are showered with some confetti from a window above. And that is urban champion pretty much completely <laughs> so the game is simple and fun it is too simple for the asking price of a full-blown game even at the time of release in 86 with no real character choices extremely limited moveset it's hard to give urban champion a very high score even though i do enjoy playing it i never got to play one-on-one -on -one with like a person i think that was probably probably gonna be a lot more fun uh it does get old pretty quickly so there's some fun to be had. It's worth picking up if you like NES games. I think it's worth a try, a playthrough. It won't take you long. <laughs> You're gonna probably love it or hate it, or just think it's very mediocre. So I'm going to give Urban Champion a score of four out of 10. I think if you're an NES fan, you really should give it a try. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.